In this video, I will be discussing about macrolide antibiotics. Now, macrolide antibiotics are the family of macrocyclic antibiotics. These are well established class of antibacterial agents used for both human and veterinary applications. Now, why the name macrolide given to these antibiotics? Because they contain macrocyclic lactone ring within their chemical structure. Now, what is lactone ring? Lactone ring refers to cyclic carboxylic ester the cyclic carboxylic esters are formed by intramolecular esterification of corresponding hydroxy carboxylic acid now this is hydroxy carboxylic acid if intramolecular esterification occurs then this will form this type of cyclic ester which is named as lactone ring and this lactone ring denoted by suffix olaid. Now olaid when it is attached to this macro that is macro plus olaid macrolide and this is why this type of antibiotics are named as macrolide antibiotic now clinically significant macrolide antibiotics are basically 12 to 16 atom lactone ring and particular characteristic of macrolide antibiotic is that to this lactone ring one or more sugar attached and these sugar units are specific characteristic of macrolide antibiotics. Now, naturally occurring macrolides are basically 12 member macrolide, 14 membered, and 16 membered macrolide. Ring. Out of these, 14 membered macrolides are more potent. Though 16 membered macrolide possesses highly diverse structure, and these 16 membered macrolide can be grouped into two groups one is leukomycin. Leukomycin, those are basically used for human application, and tylosine basically used for veterinary application. Now 14 membered macrolide. 14 membered macrolide, the drug that is erythromycin A was the first macrolide antibiotic which was discovered from streptomyces erythreus. This erythromycin A possesses excellent antibacterial activity against gram-positive bacteria and mycoplasmas. This erythromycin A was initially developed to treat staphylococcal infection for patients allergic to penicillins. But after 40 years of use, most of the staphylococcal strain isolated in hospital are erythromycin resistant. Though macrolide antibiotics are very very important and these macrolide antibiotics play an important role in treatment of upper and lower respiratory tract infections as well as 
cutaneous infection that is skin and soft tissue infections thank you